Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. In my last video, you seen why I replaced the actual front uh, shift uh, shaft seal here in the front of my lower unit off my 2009 uh, Yamaha HPDI 225 outboard. Uh, once I did that and, and put in a pressure test on it, I found out in the back here where my prop seals are, they're leaking now. Uh, I just replaced those last year so I guess I didn't do a good job on it or something I don't know but so this year we're gonna have to replace them again and this time I'm gonna take out the uh, the the bearing carrier here and the bottom of the actual unit to replace I'm gonna replace the seals for that I got these seals for for the carrier bearing here probably two years ago and just never got around to doing it because I didn't have the right tools uh, but now I think it's going to be easier for me to replace the actual prop seals if I take the care and bearing out of there and while I'm here I'm just go ahead and replace those seals also so let me give you a better look of what I'm talking about as you can see I got all coming out the bottom of these uh, prop seals here and like I said, these are the ones I replaced last year. Uh, I got the video on the channel. And you have to put screws in there to try to get that out, to get the seals out and everything. But I want to do it the, uh, it's not the easy way, but I want to go ahead and take out the, the carrier bearing here. Take that whole unit out. If I can replace the seals around that. And that way, these uh, prop seals... I can put those prop seals in there without it being over top of this uh, prop shaft here so it it will be easier for these seals but it won't be easy as a whole job uh, right now I don't believe these uh, this carrier sealing seals or o-rings or, or leak or anything but since I'm here I'm gonna go ahead and take the whole unit out to be able to do these prop seals easier and uh, that way I know all the o-rings and seals are replaced here in this lower unit and a lot of people don't know that you have a greet zerk here for this bearing that's behind these seals uh, so when you take your prop off uh, a lot of people don't know you got a, a grease zerk that you need to the grease every off so often to keep that bearing uh, lubricated in there so uh, you know they got the actual oil in there but it helps if you just put some some grease in that grease zerk that way you, you know everything is greased up so uh, I needed this pulling tool let me zoom out for you guys can see what I'm talking about this uh this is a carrying carrier bearing puller uh, I didn't have that but I found this on eBay uh, for $60 if you've go and get an original Yamaha or uh, a name brand puller it will cost you 170 I've seen it for 171 dollars of the average price I've seen this for but I found it on eBay for 60 so I went ahead and bought it uh, to be able to get in here and pull that carrier bearing out of there so let's go ahead and get that started for we can uh, get this job over with and get the back fishing like I said, we need to take this top one off. And I have never had these uh, bolts out of here, so. And I just got this sitting up on a couple of blocks with a uh, moving blanket on it so I don't scratch it, which is not the best setup, but that's quick and easy for me. Okay, that's uh, one. So now the bottom one is a different size. Uh, that top one, I, this is a 5 16. The bottom one, uh, I have a, a 7 32nd, but it's in there kind of loose. But this was the best fitting one that I had. Like I said, you got these two hooks. And that's going opposite ways on this uh, pulling tool here. And you just get that hooked. 
on the uh, fins of the actual carabiner. I don't know if you can see down in there. No, you can't because the tool in the way. But it's two. It's fins in there where that carabiner uh, just opens up for your exhaust to come through. And I got the tool just hooked on the back side of, of those fins. And I got a socket and a wrench here. I didn't want to use an impact to try to get this out because I don't know how easy or hard that would come out. And I didn't want to break any fins on it. Uh, this is a uh, 7 8 wrench here. I'm barely pulling on that just to see if uh, just to see if this cap is coming and this and it is coming. Let me see if I can give you guys a better angle. I think that'll work out a little bit better for you. And like I said, I'm barely even putting any pressure on it. And it's coming out real easy. And I have drained the oil in the lower unit here, so there shouldn't be too much oil in there, if any. And with it propped up like this, it shouldn't come out anyway. Okay, I think that's enough for it to come out. I'm going to back this nut off. And okay, and that is the care bearing with the uh, with the gear on front of it. I don't know the uh, proper name for this gear, but as you can see and like I said now you can get to the seals you can get them out easier I don't know how easy it's gonna come out there but they shouldn't be in there too tough I just did this last year and uh, be able to put the other ones in so let's see if we can uh, get the other ones in and I'm gonna give you a look down inside here before you can see what it looks like in there once you pull these out and these are the uh, O-rings that's, that's on this carrier bearing here. And those are the ones that we're going to replace here. And that's the part number for those rings. If you're anything like me, when, when people take stuff loose like this, I like to see what's in there if I don't know what is actually in there. So you can see... Uh, the input shaft coming down from in the top and the prop seal going in the bottom and where you see the oil down in there that's exactly where that oil sits in that lower unit so we're gonna try to get in there and clean that, that uh, carbon out of the way for once we put this carrier bearing back in there everything will be nice and clean I don't know how far I can get in there with my hand but it looks like I can get most of the way in there so I'm going to clean this up and we're going to replace these O-rings uh, and we're going to do the prop seals first. As you can see in here is the needle bearings and the both for the prop seals. Okay, we, we set up on a little, little work table I made here out of a box and a and a piece of wood and just an old towel and I uh, just got a hook pick here and I think I can just pull these seals out that's one good thing about taking a whole carry out that you could probably pull those seals out easier this way too but it, they're not coming out easy but
Let me see if a screwdriver would work better. Yeah, screwdriver worked better for that one. Uh, but this this bottom seal is I say it's it's close to this uh needle bearing here, but I can get my tool up under I'm trying not to hit the outside of this uh cover here for it won't scar the uh surface where these seals go on. So I'm just trying to ease it up. See if the screwdriver works better. Alright, let's give this another try. I decided to find the right tool here. What I have is my seal puller. Now let's see if we can get this uh, seal out of here with this puller. Well, there you go. Alright, since we got that out, all you need to do is find the right tool. Like I said, this is a uh, seal puller, and that's what it's used for. And I just had it sitting over there on the hanging on the wall, and didn't didn't I had forgot I had it. So, so we're just gonna clean the inside of this out real good. Okay, now we got those seals out. I have the new seals right here. Uh, this is the part number. For those those prop seals uh, I'm just gonna put a small bit of WD-40 just around that edge of this just to help it slide in but uh, a lot of people put grease uh, I've seen them put some kind of adhesive I thought about putting uh, RT, R, RT feet cement uh, gasket cement on it but I decided not to uh, I just put a little grease on it to help it just go down in there and you want that seal point up when I say point up you want the inside of it where the spring is point up uh, the back side is flat uh, I got a, a seal installer kit here I don't know if it's a seal press or seal push or whatever you, the exact name of it but it's the exact same size as the actual seal and I might have to get us a couple of love taps but we're going to try to just push it in there but it seemed like it just it needs a couple of love taps to get it going in there I'm just trying to get my tool straight for this seal will go down in that straight want to get it until it bottoms out and if you look around the edge you can see get my flashlight That is actually bottomed out on the bottom of the care bearing here. One or two more love taps. Okay. I feel good about that. So we're going to get the other one. And we're going to place it right on top of it. The same way, it's going to be facing up here, the inside where the spring is, is going to be facing up also. Uh, like I said, I'm going to get a little bit of more of this WD-40 just to help it slide in there. And see that WD-40, it'll, it'll evaporate pretty quickly, I would think. So, I didn't want to put grease on there, and that grease is real slick. It'll push it on out if it had enough pressure on the back side of it. 
So we get our installer uh, tool here. Just a couple of love taps. And if you look at that, make sure it's on top of the other one, touching it. So it looks good to me. But you always just want to make sure. A couple more love taps. Uh, let me get the grease here. Now we want to get our grease. And try to put it up between both of those seals. Just try to squeeze it in there. Best you can. I mean you don't have to put a a big glob of it in there and nothing like that. Just try to push it in there the best you can in between the seals. Okay. I think that's enough enough grease. Uh, what we want to do now is replace the O-rings on the the outside of the care bear in here. So get my hook pick and get these O-rings out the way. And of course I want to clean up the outside of this so let me clean that up and I'll come right back. Okay now we want to we got the the Karen Baron uh, case cleaned up now we want to put the extra O-rings on. Uh, this is the part number for the O-rings. And we just want to get them out the, the little bag here. Uh, we just want to grease them up. Make sure they got some grease all the way around them. You don't want to put them in there dry. So the first one we're going to just slide it down to the bottom. Try not to stretch it. And now we're going to just grease up the other one here. And we're just going to place that on the top ring where the uh, So you can see that wasn't hard at all. So we're just going to go ahead and see if we can put it back in the lower unit. And uh, like I said, just put some more grease on the outside of it. Make sure it's good and greased up. Okay, let's see if we can put it back in the lower unit. And, uh, and as you can see, the seals are in, and uh, we're ready to put it back in. So let's go over there and do that, and uh, we'll be finished with this job. Okay, we're ready to put the uh, care and bearing back in here. Uh, wanna, if you remember what side you took it out on, uh, like I said, this grease zerk was on my left side. So, uh, And you're going to just put it will the bolts line straight up and down line back up where it came from like I said it should just slide in there with just a little pressure okay everything good and pressed in there like I said the bolts are bringing in uh, far as it need to go oh. I did put a little red Loctite on the end of these bolts here because uh, you don't want that to, to back out while you're going down the lake or anything like that. So I just put a little red Loctite on it. And a lot of people don't put Loctite on stuff that's, that's bolt related for some reason. And uh, here at the end of this video I'll show you a couple of places 
when you're putting a unit, the lower unit back on your boat, where to put Loctite, that the books actually say put Loctite. I don't have torque specs for this this part of it, but I'll show you some that I do have when you go put it back on the boat. But I'm going to tighten this up tight as I think it needs to be. I'm sorry I don't have the torque specs for you. And I think that's good and tight. Uh, and another thing, once you put the uh, seals in here, it's got a place for this little uh, little locking deal here to, to lock those seals in. It doesn't have much pressure on this. You would think there'd be a a nice size C clip to to hold this stuff in, but that just clips in there. The spacer that comes at the bottom, you put that back on, then you put your prop on with your prop nut and your quarter key. Uh, but I'm not ready to to put mine on just yet. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna hit this with a little grease with my grease gun to to lube up that needle bearing inside here, and that's pretty much it. The the pulling tool to pull this carrier bearing out, like I said, was sixty dollars. So, but that's something that you might use down the road. Your buddy might need it, you know, that type of thing. So I decided to go ahead and get it. I'm always working on something. So you might have to take that back out someday, you never know. So that's why I spent the money for it. So uh, I'm going to stop rambling about this. And I appreciate everybody watching. If you have any questions, I will try to do my best to answer them. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I appreciate you watching. Until the next video, we out of here. Thanks for watching. Uh, but I forgot to tell you about what I was talking about, about Loctite. Um, see if you can see this here. This is uh, that came out of the actual manual. If you see here in the front, the front screw that actually looks like a uh, screw that goes up in the lower unit to hold it to your boat, it says put Loctite on it. And it's another one in the back that goes up through the back of the uh, fin. You need to put some Loctite on that one also. Uh, if you can see the torque specs of uh, when you put the uh, caps back on, when you're putting the water pump and all that back on, uh, if you can see that, I'm going to try to hold it still as possible if I can get it lined up and all the actual torque specs and all that good stuff. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm going to hold it here for a second. But yeah, that's it. I just want to add that. Thanks, guys.